Hey, what's up guys? FlickFi here, back with another career mode episode. And it has been a while since I've last uploaded a video, but for the last week and a half, I've tried to keep my attention purely on school because we've been having exams, but I finished my last one this morning so I can direct more of my attention back towards YouTube and I'm really excited about that. And I'm actually trying something a little bit different in this video by utilizing both post commentary and live commentary aspects. If you guys like this style, let me know down in the comment section below and I would love to hear your feedback on how I might be able to improve in future videos. But as you can see, we are in the FA Cup semi-final against West Ham, so that's gonna be a huge match to start off the episode. Arsenal has already secured their place in the final, so if we do win this match, we can replicate what actually happened in the FA Cup final a few weeks ago. But in addition to that, here's a look at the current league table. Manchester United leading the league with 73 points. Manchester City, 71 points. Arsenal in the third place position and ourselves in the fourth place. Hopefully, we can hold on to that with the weeks to come. But first, we do need to put all our attention on this FA Cup match against West Ham. For the match, we're putting out our strongest side. That has given us a lot of success in previous matches. Oh, Timo Werner, that's a nice move. He's going to cut inside. Let's see if he can burn by. He's going to try to go to the outside. That's a good tackle, but it's going to fall to Paulson. Oh, he just completely missed the ball, and I think that was a decent tackle by the West Ham man. Really should have done better with that opportunity, though, and Andy Carroll is on the break. He's going to play it over to Valencia. Back to Andy, and he's got to look over the top to Valencia. No, he's going to keep it. Now he plays it over the top, and Brad Guzon was left in no mare's land, but it is no mare's land. I don't think he's a horse. Oh, we're going to play this over to Nzogbia. We'll see if he can send in a good cross to the back post. And oh my goodness, that was a decent effort. Is this a corner kick or is this a goal kick? It is a corner kick for us. And Zogbia is going to send it in. Let's see if we can get this one on targets to Christian Benteke. And he's going to get the opening goal. I cannot believe he actually managed to get that on target. I've scored so little corner kick goals this season. And we get one in one of our biggest matches so far. Reed, what are, what are you doing, Reed? Benteke is just going to steal it. Let's see if we can get another. He's taken down inside the box. Surely that was a penalty. Man, West Ham has been pressuring us after we scored that opening goal. But we're going to look to go on the counterattack. They are bringing so many people forward. And of course, Yusuf Paulson does have the pace. He's going to cut inside. Looking for the pass. Finds the pass. Has a shot. Oh my goodness, and Zogbia. He should have done better with that chance. He really should have. Play this over the top. It's Christian Benteke. He's got the strength to outmuscle that defender. And he's just got to shoot. And he's going to make it 2-0 for us. I cannot believe how well we've started this game. Christian Benteke going on the counterattack. Holds off that defender. I thought he was going to catch up just at the end. But he slots it to the keeper's left. And we get another one. 2-0 before halftime. Christian Benteke has got that right-hand side. And he's got the pace to get around this defender, I think. And we know he's got the strength. He's going to look the... Ah, there's no one there. Or is there? Oh my goodness. I thought no one was going to be able to get to that cross. But Paulson coming out of nowhere. And it's 3-0, guys. We, we clearly want to get in this final. And we're showing it by our performance. I just can't believe this game. Chances that I never in my wildest dreams thought would have worked just seem to be working for me. Even the keeper's diving in the wrong direction. I just can't believe this. Uh-oh. What a touch. <sighs> but it just doesn't work for him. Oh, Kuyate is going to play this one through, and they're going to hit the post. It looks like we're meant to have this clean sheet, guys. They have created so many chances. We might be able to score on this counter. Uh, but we've created so many chances so far in this game, and so has the other team. But to be fair, like they, the luck just isn't working on their side, and things are just pointing toward us winning this game. Oh, Sanchez, play that through. Let's see if we can make a four. Sinclair, can he finesse it around the keeper? Yes, he can. That's exactly what I'm talking about, guys. The same kind of chances are working for us, and they just aren't working for West Ham. We make it four right there, and on legendary difficulty, this might be the most surprising win I've had all season. An incredible showing from us in this game, and we are in the FA Cup final. I am looking forward to that game so much. For our second match of the episode, we have a match against Manchester City, and we haven't made any changes to our starting 11 because we had plenty of time to rest. Uh oh, this isn't good. Milner on that left-hand side. What's he going to do with it? He'll send in the cross. Wilfried Boney, we know he's an aerial threat, but we're not going to let him have those chances. We're doing great so far. It's Poulsen. He's got the pace. He sees Benteke, though. That's a great ball. Benteke, oh my goodness, his form last couple games has been incredible. And that volley just demonstrated. Look at this for a ball, though. 
puts it right between the defender and the keeper, and Benteke finishes it home with that right foot. Man, we are clicking on all cylinders right now. Oh, this one's going to be played to Ed and Jekko. Jekko over to Clichy. Clichy's putting himself in a good position for a cross. And Fernandinho now open shot. And he's going to put it away. Oh my goodness, Manchester City has been pushing forward and now they've finally tied it up. The real question is, do we want to hold on for a draw or are we going to try to go for a winner? I think we're going to go for a winner. He's going to try to get around. Can Benteke get around these defenders right here? He's nearly taken down inside the box. But that is the final whistle right there. A draw against Manchester City. To be fair, I think that's a great result, but that's really not going to help our chances to finish third this year. After that exciting draw against Man City, we received some good news and some bad news. Gil did pick up a small injury. He's going to be out for nine days, but we do have Jack Grealish back from his loan spell at Watford, so we're going to utilize him in the coming games. And since it is now May 1st, it's time to promote any Youth Academy players that we now have received a bump in their potential, and I chose to offer Callum Howard a contract, but for the other player, I decided to pass on him for now. To round out the episode, we're going to play a match against Everton, and we're also going to welcome back Jack Grealish to the squad. Oh, he is through right now. Jack Grealish, don't tell me he's about to score in his home first match. And he's still through. That's a decent shot on target. And Joel able to make a nice leg save. Not sure where Tim Howard is, but we win the ball back. And it's Grealish over to Benteke. <laughs> Benteke still has it. He's got to be off here. Somehow he's not off sides and Christian Penteke. What a freaking shot from him. I think that might be his 19th or 20th goal here. We'll check and see if it was. And that was his 19th goal in the Barclays Premier League. Looks like he is on path to pick up 20 goals this season. Don't tell me Christian's about to get to this. Come on, Christian. The shot and the rebound. Oh my goodness, Jack Grealish. That should have been a goal. You can't give him any excuses there. He was sliding, but it just clips right over the top of the crossbar. Pinar on the ball. He's going to find McCarthy. McCarthy back to Aruna Kone. Aruna Kone over to Coleman. They are just passing it a little bit too much right now. And finally, Koenig has the shot. Hits the post. And we're going to clear this one yet again. Let's see if they brought too many people forward. It's a two on three right now. Christian Menteke. Ooh, that was a decent opportunity for us, but it's going to be the halftime whistle. We're still up 1-0 and a pretty good performance in the first half, though I think we need to lock it down a little bit on the defense. Benteke is going to play this one through, and it's like Bon Lahore. Let's see if he can cut inside. Gets by one, gets by two, has a shot, and puts it on the far post. Gabby still picking up a goal from time to time. Seems like whenever he plays, he does make a big impact on the game and a great run and some good strength right there, as well as a nice finish. Vyman on the ball. He's going to be able to get around his defender. A big touch. He's going to go for a chip. And he's going to put it away. Vyman with the cheeky chip. I think that's the first time that's actually worked for me this season. But when it works, it works so nicely. Ross Barkley still on the ball. He's going to play a great ball. And finally, Everton managed to get a goal back. The connection between Ross Barkley and Aruna Kone has finally managed to pop open. And Everton pulls a goal back. I don't think that's going to be enough for them to draw this one, though. Scott Sinclair, that's a nice move to create some space. Let's see if he can do his typical finesse shot. And his finesse just doesn't fail him. He picks up another goal with the side of his foot. And that is definitely going to put Everton out of the picture in this one. Another resounding performance on the team. And we're doing everything we can to hold on to that fourth place position. But guys, hope you have enjoyed the episode today. If you did, do me a favor. Leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Till next time, this has been FlickFi. I'll be talking to you all again soon.